Fourteen, oscillating systems, part three, displacement, velocity, and acceleration. Let's revisit displacement phasor, going around in a circle. So this arrow here represents displacement phasor going around anti-clockwise, and the vertical component of this displacement phasor gives. Displacement y, this one here, going up and down, simple harmonic motion. And from this triangle here, y can be obtained by using this equation there. A is the radius, this radius here, and sine theta, theta is the angle there. And um, so A is the radius of the circle as well as the amplitude of this simple harmonic motion. Simple harmonic motion goes from here down to there. So from there to there is the amplitude, which is also the radius of the circle. And this equation can also be expressed like this. A times sine omega t, because theta is equal to omega t. Here is an example showing you how you can use these formulas. So just read through yourself. Now let's look at velocity phasor. The velocity of p at any point is a tangent to the circle at p as shown. Here is the velocity phasor tangent to the circle. And the velocity is given by this formula here. A is a radius. From this triangle, which is that one there, the vertical component, which is that v here, is given by that, making use of this right angle triangle. So cos theta is adjacent divided by the hypotenuse, and so on. Eventually you get that, which is that. The example here says, in the previous example, the mass oscillates with a period of 1.9 seconds, an amplitude of 0.14 meters, what's the velocity of the mass 0.35 seconds after timing starts? Just use that formula and you work, work out the answer. Now we look at acceleration phasor. The acceleration of P being centripetal is directed towards the center of the circle. So that arrow represents the centripetal acceleration of P. And we can use this formula for centripetal acceleration to simplify it down to that. And from the triangle, which is that one here, we can work out this component here, which represents the acceleration for the simple harmonic motion up and down. So from this triangle, we can work out A being that. And minus sign simply means while the velocity phasor is pointing upwards, acceleration is pointing downwards. For the example, we just quote the previous example where the mass oscillates with a period of 1.9 seconds and the amplitude of 0.14 meters. And you just have to work out the acceleration of the mass 0.35 seconds after the timing starts. So you just use that formula derived from the previous slide. And you put in the numbers and you get the answer here.